All right, everyone, before I get into today's video, I just want to announce that I'll be doing my first ever giveaway for the Alpaca Elements tote bag. I've done a review on it, and if you don't know what it is, just check that out. I'll link it up in the corner here. Um, I will be shipping this worldwide, and this is just to say thank you to all of you that's been supporting me up to this point on YouTube. So yeah, all you need to do is just follow these rules that I'll put up on screen. And then once you've done all that and you've entered, uh, yeah, the winners will be chosen on the 1st of November. So thank you all for supporting me and uh, good luck to all of you. So let's get right into it. Today we're conducting a small comparison test of the Alpaca Go slings. These come in three different sizes, each catering to a specific type of user. Um, we got the Go Sling, the Go Sling Mini, and then the Go Sling Nano. If you haven't already uh, previously watched my review of the Go Sling Mini, which is the medium size option, you can find the link on screen. I recommend watching that first, as in this video we'll be delving into the other two sizes. At the end, I will show you a side by side of all of them, so stay to the end for that. To kick things off, let's begin with the most smallest bag in the lineup, which is the Ghosting Nano. Um, it's important to mention that all of the bags we have here are constructed from the same durable 600D Axle Flux black material. The Ghosting Nano, as the smallest option, is crafted with the intention of accommodating your point and shoot camera, your phone, and other daily essentials. The Ghosting Nano is essentially an extension of your clothing's pockets. Um, it strikes a perfect balance in size, not too large yet capable of accommodating all the items you typically carry in your pockets. Here are the features followed by the dimensions. I'll just list it up on screen and then just have a read through it. Let's start with the exterior. As I hold this up, you can see that I can easily grip it all in one hand. It's slightly just larger than my hand, and this is the size of the Ghost Sling Nano. It's been meticulously designed to carry your essential items and nothing more. On the front here, there's a front zipper pocket with a magnetic key attachment, um, as you've seen on uh, previous Alpaca uh, products. And then you're greeted with this uh, same consistent gray honeycomb pattern that you've seen before. Um, this pocket is relatively small, making it ideal for storing items like keys or earbuds. Turning to the back here, the entire surface is made from ballistic nylon. There are two additional attachment points at the top here for connecting the shoulder straps. Um, there's a convenient open back pocket right here as well for quick access to smaller items. So you can literally just see I can fit four of my fingers in here and that's roughly the size of it there. This is the strap that is included as well. It's lightweight and it includes a miniature version of the sliding mag uh, maglock buckles, which is pretty cool. So that's a small, smaller version of it. And it has these little clips at the end as well that you've uh, probably seen before. Moving on to the interior, opening up um, to the main compartment, we have the main area for storage, just right here. And then followed by, on the back side, we got the fleece line pocket for your valuable devices. This can fit up to the size of an iPhone 14 Pro Max. And then moving to the front side, we got two open mesh pockets right here, just, uh, just for organization. And this can be ideally used to hold cables or something like that. So right here, and right here. Here's how the bag looks when worn on the body. It maintains a low profile and is incredibly lightweight. Its versatility shines through as well. You can easily remove the straps and use it as a compact pouch when needed. On to the pricing and color for the Ghost Sling Nano. It comes in two versions, the X-Pack, which has a black and green, and then the Axle Flux comes in black and army green. X-Pack comes in slightly more at 58 pounds, while the Axle Flux comes in at 50 pounds. Prices may vary for other currencies, so just check accordingly. Now let's turn our attention to the Ghost Sling, which happens to be the largest of the three options. With a 5.5 litre capacity, this bag offers ample space for your belongings. The Ghost Sling maintains the same straightforward and sleek design you've become familiar with, and this version is simply an enlarged adaption. Here are the features, I'll just put up on screen as well. So just have a read through it and pause the screen if you have to. Moving around the Ghost Sling, you'll notice the same convenient front zipper pocket with the exact same magnetic key attachment right here. Uh, this is exactly the same as the one on the Ghosting Nano and it, this also features Hypalon pull tab as well which is consistent throughout. However, this time in this uh, front compartment it's, it's been enhanced with two interior pockets and it's uh, separated by this accordion style divider here in the centre. Um, this innovative design creates two compartments in here which uh, is capable of holding items as large as an iPhone 14 Pro Max when positioned upright. On both sides of the bag there are two attachment points right here and right here um, for securing additional items just like on the Ghost Sling Mini. Additionally you'll find the Alpaca logo on the right side here as well 
And then um, looking to the top of the bag, it features a carrying handle for easy maneuvering. This is the only one out of the three that has a carrying handle. When you turn to the back, you'll notice the use of a ballistic nylon across the entire back area, similar to the Ghosting Nano. On the sides here, there are uh, attachment points for clipping the padded shoulder strap in place. This shoulder strap buckle introduces a new feature that I personally haven't came across yet, which is also a maglock system, but it's just slightly different. This buckle allows you to simply uh, slide it in place, securing your strap and enabling the anchor point to rotate in any direction for improved comfort. To release the buckle, you just press the button and slide it down. Onto the back, there's a spacious and well-sized zipper pocket right here. This pocket is a favorite for many due to its positioning, making it a secure and anti-theft pocket. However, it's versatile and can be used for various purposes. So right here, it's actually quite spacious. So you got plenty of room in here. And then um, on the bottom, we got an attachment point for the stability strap, which can be purchased separately as well. Onto the interior, upon opening up the main compartment, you'll be greeted by the grey honeycomb lining again. This area is exceptionally spacious and can accommodate a wide range of items without any issues, making it perfect for like headphones. Um, on the back side here of the interior, you'll find a fleece lined pocket again, providing extra protection. Um, this, is, this area is designed to comfortably fit up to an 11 inch iPad Pro, ensuring that your devices remain scratch free and undamaged. Um, and then on the front side here, we got a total of four pockets on the front side, two mesh, uh, zipped mesh pockets, and then two open pockets at the bottom. And these pockets are ideal for storing your smaller items and helps you keep things neatly organized. So two small mesh pockets at the top, and then two regular sized uh, open pockets at the bottom here. This is how the bag looks when worn on the body, being the largest of the three. It naturally covers more surface area on my body. When loaded up, it might get a bit heavy, but thanks to the padded strap, it can still provide a comfortable carrying experience. With the straps being removable as well, this can also be used as a travel pouch too. Pricing and color for the Ghostling. It comes in two colors, Axoflux Black and Army Green, and is priced at 75 pounds here in the UK. Prices may vary for other countries, so please check accordingly. In conclusion, the Ghosting bags are a versatile and suitable choice for various occasions and individuals. Whether you prefer a compact option with minimal carry, you can go for the Ghosting Nano. If you require more space without sacrificing style, the Ghostling is the perfect choice. For those who want a balance of both, the Ghosting Mini is an excellent option. These bags are not only versatile, but also built with exceptional quality, making them a lasting and reliable choice for your everyday needs. I hope you find this video informative and that it assists you in making an informed decision regarding your purchase. If you'd like to support the channel, please use the link provided down below. Every bit helps. Um, and don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks very much.